here we are folks at Verona Casino, San Diego, California. Five cent denomination, three dollar and forty-five cent bet. Multi-cart kino. Let's go. Hundred dollars in the machine so far. Let's hit it. We went back to Verona, we're gonna give Verona another chance. Playing nickels this time. We've kinda of hit we've kinda of hit a momentum swing in our last few sessions of play. Feeling really good about it. Time to hit though. Come on, baby. We just waited patiently for 20 minutes for a gentleman to fix the machine. It was it was not reading the uh, card or accepting money, and he just spent 20 minutes. This is the machine I want to play. Usually, my wife's had good success when they do a reset on the machine or something, and she's always hit. So she says, "Don't give the machine up." So come on. Oh. So here we go. Thanks for all the support out there. We've had so many people chime in with great comments on the, my last posting. It's so cool. Um, I got a, a gentleman said he's going to be there in June when we have our uh, Kino Nation gathering at the Wynn in Las Vegas, June 18, 1920. Can't wait for that to happen. I got a young lady named Joyce. She's going to meet us in La Lake Tahoe. So we got uh, people lining up to join in on Kino Nation. Easter Sunday, we had a great bike ride on along the bay in Coronado today. If you guys are familiar with Coronado, the Strand, beautiful place to take a bike ride. Um, so we did that this morning. Came up and had some. Well, I don't have to tell you, we had some Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we love to have. We have Chinese food. Oh, come on, baby, keep filling, keep filling. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, so we had, uh, did the Chinese food and we were going to walk out and say, you know what, I'm in Barona. Let's give it a shot. Dude, Barona's been taking our money every time we play. So, But you know what, it's worth a couple hundred bucks. Why not? So we put a hundred in. We, ooh, we will play a um, hundred on multi-card and we'll play, if it goes bad, we'll play another hundred on four card just in case I've had good success on this machine here almost every time we were coming until this latest uh, rash of just losing so I waited patiently for this machine so. so how's everybody doing out there hope you guys are winning every time you go out you guys know me I'm cheering for you every time don't forget that like and subscribe um, leave a comment in the comment section I always ask first time viewers where are you from what's the casino you typically play at what do you like playing Gentleman chimed from Colorado. We got some Utah, uh, young lady from Utah chimed in. Uh, a couple of East Coast folks. A couple of both, both playing at the Borgata. Kind of fun. Just one thing about this whole channel thing is you get to meet people from all over the place, even if it's by text or message on your comment section. It's really neat seeing people uh, that are just joining in on the fun. So we're getting close to the Mendoza line, which is commonly known as the Cleopatra line. We're down to forty dollars. You know what? You know, at 30, we're gonna go play some Clio. Come on, over reliable. Oh, we're, too, we're already under. We waited too long. Well, uh, we were, is that right? No, 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 30. Yeah, we waited too long, didn't we? No, no, we're right. What am I doing? 400 nickels is. All right, now we're, now we're there, okay. 50 cent Cleopatra. One, two, three, four, five. I completely lost my marbles there for a second. You guys know the deal here. We got the Cleopatra ringing the bell. Ringing that card. Come on, baby, time to catch. Oh. Make it meant to be. Oh. Just make it worth the wait. We waited for this machine, patiently waited for this machine for 20 minutes. Uh, we're up, I think I, I saw our, we jumped to 340 something uh, subscribers since this morning. So we, we gained another five today, joining in on the fun. 
please share, pass the word, share my share my page around. I'm trying to have a lot of fun, you guys. You guys seem to have a lot of fun right back, so that's that's fantastic. So we're gonna switch to six credit bets. Just we have 18. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, baby, now's the time to hit. And if we miss, we'll go to four card. Come on. Come on. Well. Ain't over yet, though. Just takes this spin. All right, be right back. Okay, we are back. We got five cent denomination, a dollar sixty bet. We have eighty dollars in the machine. I gave my wife twenty bucks. She wanted to go do something, so because I'm a giver. <laughs> so gotta take care of Mama. You know that. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to switch the screen. Let's go. Hit it anyway. Well, we actually made money. Cash out. No. Come on, baby. Love to hear if anybody's winning out there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, five out of seven. Ooh. Love to hear anybody winning out there. So if we catch all seven, it's, what is it, $2,800. And if we hit uh, eight out of eight, it's $4,000. So just a tick below the quarter to nom. Another five out of seven and a five out of eight. We actually have $100, not even putting in $100. So whatever we wanted to do. So we are on the uptick. Hope everybody is safe, happy, and healthy out there. Let's just get back to being kind to each other. We're all on the same plan in life. We get to take care of our families, take care, have some fun, get to the end, and have some fun at the end. So um, all this anger towards one person or the other or whatever they look like or it's all for the birds man we're all on the same team so hang in there we'll get there hope everybody's safe from all this covid covid numbers are starting to get better here in california too we i got both my wife and i have been vaccinated two times ready to go we've already booked the trip to uh the vegas and lake tahoe we've already booked a cruise in september So we should be good to go. Hopefully things are going to cruise. It's still a contingency that the numbers stay low. But things are looking good so far. So come on, baby. Don't forget the hashtag Kino Nation. Or if you look up hashtag Kino Nation and click on that link in all of the videos, you'll see there's a bunch of Kino videos uh, featuring Quick Country Slot, Cash, Cash or Crash, myself, um, uh, slot slot 500 um, there's so many people there putting in uh, Kino videos right now and having some fun so check them all out uh, thanks for watching again hit that like and subscribe help me help a young struggling young struggling youtuber Ooh. Do it. all right well, I put an 80 because I remember I gave oh, you 20 oh, oh she brought the 20 back Got to add it to the till then, so that puts us right back at a hundred dollars then, because we had we had gained twenty dollars playing the second hundred. So look at that, bam. Okay, so we're gonna put the cash. I know people like the cash, um, but I I prefer the coins. I like doing the math. Come on, baby, let's hit. Time to hit. So we're in for two hundred. You need to get to at least 400 so we can go home. Yeah, Hasn't Verona been bad though for us lately? Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a get there. Oh, there's a viewer and her name is Off Duty. Can't remember Off Off Duty. She's I think she's an Off Duty uh, officer. She also said that she's been just getting crushed at Verona. So, but we're up here and you know you can't walk into the casino. I've had my biggest jackpots here. This is where I hit, uh, this is what, 2015, I hit uh, in a crazy run of machines. There's a bank of six Kino machines that are, actually aren't placed in the same place anymore. They're actually these machines over here where I'm sitting over by the sniper. But when they're in the middle of the floor by all by the blackjack tables, there's a bank of six machines. And in about a week, I hit repeated jackpots on all six of them. Over and over, and I was just playing one card Kino, making uh, two dollar bets, and I kept hitting it. I hit seven out of eight, 
what, seven or eight times for $3,300. And I kept I going, God, I just need one more number. And I kept hitting the jackpot and hitting the jackpot and hitting the jackpot. So I finally got to the uh, six machine because it's six machines. Always, so I got to the six machine for the first time. Get there. Get there. Oh. Uh, uh, I got that a six machine for the first time and about fifty dollars in I hit all eight numbers for twenty thousand dollars So but but that week <laughs> what was crazy was we, we oh my god. I was screaming so loud um, um, But that week alone they did the math I hit all those six machines in about eight days right for fifty three thousand dollars may have been a couple of but I think it was We were going back every day because I kept I could come on I couldn't lose. I mean, it was one of those runs where everything you touched, and we go back like the week after, and nobody would play those machines because they know I hit them all. Those machines didn't get played for, for about a week or so because one of those weird, uh, I'll call it an anomaly, that I just got there at the right place at the right time. And um, the first day it happened, I hit, uh, I sat down on the second spin, I hit seven out of eight for the 3300. I moved over because I didn't want to stop playing. I moved over seven to the, eight. seven out of eight, that's what I said. Oh, no, seven out of eight, and I moved over to the machine next to it because I didn't want to wait. It said, you know, the call attendant. I moved over, and on the very next spin on the very machine, I hit it again. So I had two side by side. I was up sixty-six hundred bucks, and I played a total of five minutes. And, and I look at him, and I go, I go, what are we still here for? Let's go home. And I go, let's go back. And then um, we kept hitting and hitting. It's one of those crazy. They gave, you, that's when you got they, the they gave me. They moved me right to diamond, and we didn't play enough, but we kept winning. So they moved me to diamond. Come on. Uh, all four got four out of seven. Uh, they moved it down. We got Barona has a, at the time had a really good comp system. We we got my own parking space. We got the car washed every week. They would detail the car. I got we, we used to go to the steakhouse and and for that year we get, we ate at the steakhouse probably thirty times easy, at least twice a month easy, maybe even more. Well, oh, come on, in, Mrs. How you doing, Mrs. How you doing? Good to see you. And they comped it every time that diamond level. Is uh, amazing at Verona. Playing ahead. Um, Not really. Yeah, I was putting up for 100. So you're, you're, you're. Well, if you can't count. So you can't count the first hundred. This is a different game, honey. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was. It was one of those uh, 2015, I think it was. I got the picture in my. I, just, I actually saw the picture today. I was, I was trying to get the, see if I had the current uh, player's card for up here because I hadn't, we hadn't been in a while. And I saw the picture of me hugging the machine. It was on the Verona website for a few weeks. It, it, they flashed my picture on the uh, big winner's board for a couple weeks. Kind of cool. But the way they treated me uh, for winning that kind of money and make it kept coming back. Well, we kept coming back all right. And probably um, reinvested in their uh, benefits package by playing a lot more but it was you know it was cool we paid off a lot of so we paid off my car at the time we bought some paid off our furniture uh, bought some new carpet for the house we we used the money wisely um, and it was nice we got out of some debt we had it was really really cool to win twenty thousand dollars and the crazy part of it was i got nineteen thousand dollar check and i got a thousand in cash so we tipped the two gals that paid us off we gave everybody sitting there um a hundred dollars each for playing and only knew two of them we gave each of our friends two hundred dollars. We gave it three or four people that we didn't even know. We gave them a hundred dollar tip. Um, so we tipped out about nine hundred bucks in tips. And then my wife and I didn't play. I just sat there and stared. <laughs> I just sat there and stared at the machine. I go, I can't believe I just won twenty. I just I took pictures of it. I sent it to my family. I'm sitting there. And while I'm doing that, she wins the thousand on the machine that she's playing on and gets all our tip money back. And we went home with twenty thousand dollars. I took put a nineteen thousand dollar check in the bank and we gave our kids a couple of three hundred bucks a piece. Um, at that time, there were uh, one was really uh, fairly young. One was uh, 2015. That's probably puts him in. Uh, he hadn't left for the Navy yet, but um, one was a freshman, I think. Freshman was something. Something like that. But it, the uh, Very happy. it was really really cool. So and we you know it's, it's all on two dollar bets. It wasn't like we were betting these gigantic numbers. That's what I'm saying. When I always say it just takes one spin. Um, crazy, you know. I was betting quarters. I was betting two dollars in quarters, and get all eight out of eight for eighty thousand quarters, and it paid twenty thousand bucks. It was just insane, you know. And everybody came running over because I went nuts, and I want to go nuts again. There's another five out of eight. Um, 
So I want all you guys to experience that, you know, and then get in the, and get put in that whale status where they, hey, they call you by name and greet you in the parking lot, and it was it was a pretty cool experience for about about eight. The rest of that was April of uh, 2015 when it happened, and then for the rest of 2015, it was pretty pretty darn cool. So uh, uh, it would be great if you guys all got to experience something like that. Um, it isn't for lack of trying that we've been trying to do this again. So. Because um, you know how hard it is to hit a jackpot. I mean, you guys all know that. It's hard to hit a jackpot. Uh, come on. No. It's just hard, you know. And so it's just timing and the random number generator and all the other mumbo jumbo that goes into playing slots. Um, I used to play a lot of crap and a fair amount of uh, blackjack when I was younger. But it, um, blackjack to me, it's fun. Um, but it's a grind. Um, you got to win a lot of hands in a row and you hit your double downs. And... Um, here, uh, it's a social, you know me, I'm a social guy, I'm, I'm chatting it up and having fun with everybody and craps, it's kind of like a war to me, I would, I would have my certain ways and I've had huge nights playing craps, um, but you're having to wager a lot, come on baby, fill this baby in, keep coming, oh my gosh, but you're having to wager a lot more and you can lose when you're, let's say if you're craps and you're sitting down and you cover all your, cover all the insides and you got your coming, your past line bets and you spread out $120 and the very next roll is a seven, you can lose $120 in 30 seconds. So uh, it just, and I've had a fair amount of those, I've had some gigantic nights where the seven didn't come for an hour. So, um, and those are magical too, but um, we've, as, and as I've grown up, like I said, I made my first Vegas trip at 19 years old um, and I'm 55 and I love it. I still love to get my action. Um, uh, and that is so funny is our, our eBay um, screen name is just need some action all one word so uh, we've had that uh, eBay name so it's ingrained in us my kids knew how to gamble at an early age not that they were gambling the real money but we sh we taught them how to play dice I actually built a craps table uh, I used a, a carpet that had the carp craps layout on a carpet that I bought at Home Depot way back in the day and I built the table around it with a drink holder and a the, the, the bumpers on each end of the table I had a mirror on one end uh, the side where the, the, the stick would stand and the whole deal and it was a lot of fun so that, that table made ooh come on uh. um, so been gambling pretty much my whole adult life and this is I've been working a uh, real job so I uh, got hurt in college playing college baseball and changed the course of my life in an instant um, so I've been trying to get action ever since so Married a great lady who like, who did who, who, who despised it early on. You tried to probably experience some version of that. Uh, she would lose twenty dollars and be just ticked. And um, now I've created a monster. <laughs> she she wants to go more than me, so it's pretty funny. But we've had good times. We know we've we've had some cruise ship stories. I got a crap story on a cruise ship that would just blow your mind. Um, one and if I have it, maybe I'll just do a. Uh, James Fitzer cash out storytelling uh, con uh, video one day and just tell you some just crazy gambling stories that are big time success stories, celebrity. Um, I've had a meet uh, playing craps and got to play with two very well known celebrities. They came up and played at my table when I was there first. I was the only one there playing at three o'clock in the morning. I'll tell that story. Um, uh, my first time playing craps ever. I was 19 years old. We went to the Tropicana in Las Vegas. Um, and playing small, so that, and I, you know, I had a, I had a mustache. I looked pretty old. I'm a, I was six foot one, one ninety five, built like a, a college uh, athlete, um, and I'm playing craps at uh, nineteen years old. And I was betting small enough not to hit anything. They never carded me. And this one old man, on the end of the table, I swear to God, he rolled for an hour and a half, and I'm betting small, and I turned a hundred dollar buy-in and making five dollar bets with ten dollar odds on it. And I walked away with fifteen hundred dollars, thinking it was the easiest thing in the world. So we drove to Vegas the next week and I dumped, thinking you could just do it again and again because this game's easy. As you've all heard that story, and dumped about a thousand of it back, going, "What happened?" <laughs> so um, I think we've all had stories like that. If you if you're a gambler, you have all the good stories. You've gone belly up numerous times. I've done that many times, and you just go back to work and you reload the bankroll and you give it a try. There's nothing like winning money. Um, there's nothing like winning money. Um, earning money is great. You put your stuff, you put your savings in, but we we budget for 
uh, discretionary funds for certain trips and uh, I urge you to do that separate your gambling money from your bill pay money so you always have that outlet um, as, a tump, as a tip from your Uncle Bubba um, but never gamble what you can't afford to gamble never gamble your bill paying money never gamble your mortgage come on baby fill it keep coming oh my gosh what is that six out of eight for 40 five out of seven twice oh my god um, pretty close what is that? What is that? Put us, put us back over 100. All right. Get to keep going. So, uh, so maybe one of these days when uh, we get to a certain point when um, if there's a maybe we don't get to go to the casino, I'll do a uh, gambling stories uh, video to entertain you guys with because I do have some crazy crap stories. The crap stories are just insane. If you guys understand that the math involved in crap stories, some hard way stuff I got to tell and cruise ship and uh, almost losing them and I she would never say that because she didn't get that mad at me because she understands but I, I it was it, it's an insane story I'll, I'll save that for that time so that was it that was a pretty good hit near miss wise playing nickels and one more number comes in it turns from a was that a $60 hit to a about a four or five hundred one more number and both numbers comes in it's about a five thousand dollar hit so we're that close come on Come on. Uh, would love to hear any of your, if you guys got time to type out a quick short story on your uh, your comment about any craziness that you've won or just a horrible beat poker story or a horse racing story. I got a plenty of horses. I used to bet a lot of horses back in the day. I've had horses on when you get that. It's one of those uh, not top tens where the horse is on the lead I'll never forget her name Sovereign Queen at uh, Santa Anita and I'm at the Del Mar Fair where I ran over because I had a tip on this horse Tyler Bays was on his back and he had about a 10 length lead turning for home at about 150 yards from the line with a I don't know about an 8 9 length lead he somehow took out the whip hit him one time and the horse ran straight into the rail and fell down and it was a it was a 16 to 1 shot that had a uh, only front only uh only uh what did i say the only speed of the race we were going to be the lead the whole time had the lead had had the race won and for some reason he hit him one time with the whip and the horse turned straight left and crashed right into the rail so uh, got back up i had him to win in place of course what did he do got up and ran third <laughs> got plenty of those stories so i'm sure you guys have some too I've been around uh, some fraternity brothers that we have some. I'm on a. I'm on a. Uh, I did tell a bunch of stories on a podcast called. If you're familiar with Twitch, or on your podcast or Spotify, you can uh, look it up. It's, it's called Brothers Chat. Brothers Chat Across the Miles, and they have about I don't know 30 podcasts over the last couple of years. And I, I, these are my old buddies from my uh, growing up 20 to 25 days and. Still very good friends with Brad and Mike Miles, but I am the uh, featured speaker on a one segment they give that's called "It's All About Gambling," and I tell two of the uh, the fun stories on that uh, podcast. So if you're interested and you got nothing to do and you, you like listening to podcasts, go to um, I think it's Twitch or Stitch. I'm sorry, Stitch. That's where I listen to it at, and uh, it's called Brothers Chat Across the Miles, and I do a whole 45 minute uh, segment on gambling and stories that involve with gambling so if you're interested check that out but now it's time to hit we're down to 64 dollars we've been bound to 64 and hit it back to 100 time to catch let's go that's amazing you just get to talking and uh really uh feel like i relate to you guys already it's been 25 minutes and it feels like it's been five so um it's time to catch this now I know you guys, every time I say I know you guys are cheering for me, um, you said it. Uh, people have come in, they yes, yes, we're cheering for you. So, uh, And I totally believe that, so thank you again. Uh, we're, we're trying to hit so we can keep on hitting, so we can keep presenting you guys some entertainment for your sit-down, when you're getting your time to sit down and just enjoy yourself and watch some uh, YouTube. I'm trying to give you some fun stuff to watch. So, A couple of close calls, though. 
Got that one, that would have been really good. Oh my gosh, there it is again. We got, oh my gosh, five out of seven, five out of seven, six out of eight. Again, a little different setup. But, guess who's on? <laughs> we're gonna keep going. I mean, what? What, what, what are we talking about? We're already in for 200, right? If we're gonna look at both both games, multi-card or four-card. But just throw in one more number and we're, we're probably cashing out for like five or 600 bucks. And if you throw in both numbers, we're probably getting a hand pay and you get to meet everybody and you get to see me jumping up and down and saying, Hashtag Kino Nation. So if you haven't checked out hashtag Kino Nation, make sure you put, click it. It's usually in all the links that we're putting in. Get there. Oh. Um, and it, it sends you to a screen or a link that has all these Kino videos. There's a bunch of people. I think I mentioned earlier in this, this video. A um, bunch of people playing videos, viewing videos. It's all uh, the people that have joined uh, Kino Nation. So a lot of fun. But let's put something exciting up for everybody. Let's, let's hit one of these seven out of sevens right now. It keeps giving us a chance, I would say that. I'll give it that much. We are getting some play for our dollar, right? I hit max bet on a nickel machine for a dollar sixty. Just not too much to ask for, right? I'll take that seven out of eight for seven hundred dollars. We've been. This is the same machine I hit that seven hundred dollars on. I'm like a, a minute into the video, and the video was only like a, a minute, 52 seconds long. So like, it's a, it, yeah, it's titled, Just Got Here and Left. Come on, baby, still, still doing, still got our money. Ooh. Padres lost their first game today, lost three nothing. Um, couldn't get a hit today. Got three hits to scatter around. That's okay. Still in first place. Four games in. Got to enjoy the moments, Padre fans. You guys, have, <laughs> you're a Padre fan along with me. You know how long it's been since we really put a, just a string of games together and, and we're the team to beat. So last year was a hint. We got to the playoffs for the first time in quite a while. I think like 2011. Was it even that soon? Maybe not. And we got swept out of there. It was two years in a row. We got into the wild, the wild card game one year. We actually won the division one year. And just got swept out of the playoffs pretty quick. But this is a new year. We got a loaded team. So somebody, uh, OG, 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 I think the screen name was. He said, go Dodgers. Uh, not in this house. <laughs> not in this house. It's and I'm really glad they went back to the Padre Brown and Gold. It gives us our, uh, it just defines who they are. Instead of being a blue, they were blue, then they were brown, and they were trying to be a little bit of both. And so went back to the Padre Brown, brown and Gold. The, uh, they didn't go back to the old throwback Tony Gwynn jerseys, the solid browns, but they, they got some nice unis with the stretch. Come on, let's throw it in. Oh. Hope you guys are all uh, hanging around. What is it, 28 and a half minutes in? Time to hit. Good. I love those three in the middle. Now fill it in on the sides. No. Those three in the middle are hugely important. Uh, can you imagine if we get those three in the middle now? Mm. Come on, baby. Hanging around, I got pushed back from like 60 to over 100 twice. Oh, okay. It's 6 out of 8 and 2, 5 out of 7 is twice. Oh, God. I mean, so close to being massive. How'd you do over there? Well, I, I only had a $20, so... Well, you had 30 I think. Well, I put it in. <laughs> I get a $2 tip. <laughs> she's, uh, she's staying at Vias the next couple of nights. She, once again, she's retired from work. She's staying at the the Willows at the Vias for the weekend the next few days. Well, nice. I, well, well, I, well, I, well, I'm going to get there. Come on. Uh, First three, spread them out, fill it in. Uh, early three, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, six out of seven. Oh my gosh. A hundred and... I know, but that right th that right there would have been $2,800. Where are you at right now? 236, so now we're up 36. So what does that mean? 
Hit that play button. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more number, man. That's yeah, always one more number. It, that's what Kino stands for. If you spell Kino in like some, uh, uh, even like a I'm not dead, like Egyptian, uh, even in the, like <laughs> Egyptian Sanskrit, Kino stands for just one more. <laughs> oh, but now we got ammunition. We got a lot of ammunition now. We're actually ahead for the session. Well, well you're playing, you got two days of play, so. Yeah. Come on, oh, that was so close. Yeah, but I'm, always, I'm not gonna spend that much money. Yeah, then she, then she does the eye roll as she walks away. She says, I'm not gonna spend that much money. And then she. <laughs> and then the. Uh, mm hmm. That's the. Mm hmm. That was a good hit. One more, we did a great hit. Come on, baby. Do we literally go, you know, the video is about 30, 30 minutes long so far. Do we go stop at $200, get our money back, and just entertain the I'm folks? I'll just take $100 out. Huh? I'll just take $100 out. I'm going to play that one over there. How far are you? Where do you do? What do you uh, do? I'm just telling them, I was just telling them the, the viewers here that are watching, I might stop at $200 and call oh, it then, uh, a break. It's already, what are we, 31 and a half minutes in. Yeah. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I told a lot of stories. I can't wait to... Put up the stuff here, but we might hit cash out in seventeen dollars. But rather, yeah, let's hit something gargantuous. Is gargantuous a word? I don't know. Sounds like a good word, doesn't it? Like uh, ginormous, or that's not a word either. But sounds like a great word. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. I actually just love sitting there and telling stories to you guys and talking. Um, I could do this all day long. Uh, I appreciate you guys all watching. Hitting that like and subscribe. Please share. Share the information. Get that link out there. Talk to your, all your friends. We'd love to get to a thousand. There is a promise out there that I did say. I will sing a song or I'll sing a portion of a song um, if we get to a thousand subscribers. So right now we're at 30. Uh, we were at 345 before we came up the hill here, Barona. I did, I did promise that I would sing a, a section of a song in honor, and it won't be about gambling, um, it'll be about people, Hi, so, I'm oh, I got, I'm 21 cent hitter, it's gonna add 21 cents, <laughs> that might be, that's gonna be, that's gonna make the difference here, I don't know why there's a one penny, I have no idea where that came from, was it, it was obviously in the machine, right, oh, probably. <laughs> I'm like, come on baby, Oh. So, am I really gonna do this? And just yeah, I'm gonna do this. We're at 33 minutes and had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. You guys have a lot of options to do your YouTube viewing, and you're choosing to watch uh, James Fisher cash out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for appreciate your all your time. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Hashtag Kino Nation. Love you. Bye.